Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today's topic is topic 5 Methods and data So this is the outcome for topic 5 We are going to learn about methods, data and expressions and parameter But for today's lesson, I will cover only methods So what is actually method? So method is a programming statement that object can execute so that is a method. Okay, for example, of the method is a procedure in the Alice, which is uh, if you refer to your uh, previous lab, which have their own method. For example, which can turn, turn left, turn right. So that is method. Okay, so that's why method usually consists of sequence of statement to perform action. Okay, which is set of parameter. Okay, and possibly output value. So, parameter, for example, turn uh, the position or the direction. Okay, right. And then the value. Okay, how many value or how far okay, the object uh, can move. Okay? So, the purpose of method is to provide mechanism for assessing, okay, which is for uh, reading and writing the data that store in object or Class. Okay, this one we use to assess the data okay, for the object. So, uh, method is actually the instruction set for uh, objects. Okay, so what is method call? So, method call is actually to be request to object to perform some task. Okay, so method call model as a mean of passing a message to a object. So when we perform any methods, so that uh, kind of method that we uh, use in the action is actually uh, some kind of uh, action that uh, we give message to the object. For example, we tell the object to turn right and uh, the other example. So method is actually the result in the object performing some action. So in Alice 3, we have two categories of method. Primitive, which is built-in, okay, primitive built-in, and user-defined. So, user-defined, not yet uh, exists. So, this one is actually additional method by the programmer. And then, method can be two characteristic in at least three. Procedure and function. Okay. So, what is procedure? So, procedure, no written value method. Meaning that you're doing the action without yielding yield the value. Okay, example of the procedure is actually uh, for the eagle. So the procedure of the eagle is spreading wing or full wing. So that is a procedure. There are no value okay, for the uh, method. Function. So what is function with written value method? So this one doing action with yield a value so when we use a function uh, it's actually we give some um, value okay uh, when we run the program so i will show you later the differences between procedure and also function so we start with method procedure so method in alice 3 we known as a procedure so uh, each object have their own procedure for example for the which we have a procedure to turn uh, turn face okay, uh, say thing so that is a procedure okay. another example is this one so we have method that uh, causes the snowman to raise the eyes and also the snowman can turn to face and so on so this is actually example of primitive procedure so primitive uh, procedure or method is actually method that already been created for the user and built in the programming language. So this is the example of primitive procedure for bunny. So each object have their own procedure, okay, primitive procedure. And then this also another example, uh, primitive method in Alice 3, the explanation okay, for each method. Function. Okay. So function is actually a special type of method. A special type of method. So function refer to instruction that cause some action to take place. So to execute a function, you need to create instruction. 
okay, to call the function. Okay, so some function require additional pieces of data that we known as argument or parameter that's similar to the method. And a function will yield a value when it is called. So this is example of function for object bunny. And then this uh, listed function are the primitive function. So what means by primitive function or primitive? So that is actually mean built-in function. Okay, the function that already uh, have in the Alice program. Okay, so this is a function. Okay. So if you refer to this function, for example, you go to the appearance, okay, get opacity. Uh, so when you call this function, okay, uh, when you run, okay, you will get the opacity of the bunny. So that means by function. So in this uh, topic, okay, we will apply primitive function and create new method for the bunny. Okay, so we will look at uh, some demo. Uh, for primitive function and new method. So we have a uh, first primitive function, which is we will uh, use function uh, get height, and then we will create new method, okay, which is user defined method that we call hopping. So this is a uh, two uh, activity for today's uh, lesson. So we start with a function. So function will return a value. So example, we use get height, which will return the bunny's height. So get height, we return the bunny's height from the properties value. So if you remember, every time you create any object, there are uh, properties value at your right pin okay, of your Alice. Okay? So I will show you later the demo for this function. Okay, next. Is actually how we can create a new method which is user defined. Okay. So this is the step. Okay. So I will explain in a demo for this function. Okay. So this is actually the step. Okay. This is the first step. Second step, okay, define some instruction. First, you need to give a name and then you need to define the instruction. Okay. And then after you create, so the new method will be appear in the bunny object. Alright, so test yourself. So you need to list one possible procedure for the bunny and list two possible functions for the bunny. So this is only test by your own. Okay, you just remember the uh, meaning of the procedure and also the function. Okay, next, methods and arguments. So method calls and the arguments or parameter. So when programmers execute a method, so basically they are calling the method. Okay. Instruction that execute a method refer to method call. So when you call a method and provide any necessary argument, it is actually passing the argument to the method and argument also call a parameter. So the example of this situation is actually when you uh, insert procedure for the object, okay, for example, bunny move okay so move is actually the action okay the method and then the procedure sorry the argument or the parameter is actually referring to the direction where should the bunny move okay right forward and also sometimes you need to give the value okay so that is actually referring to the method cause and parameter or arguments so this is actually the example that I have explained. Okay, so you have object and then you have method and then you have arguments. Okay, the direction and also the value. Okay, that's all. Okay, that's all for our first lesson for topic 5.